Okay, welcome back to the RTS project. Um, I'm going to continue building this out now and in this video I'll be creating a unit out of the robots we created in an earlier series. So the first thing is that this T-pose, I only want this T-pose in the scene view when we're creating the game. I'm not going to use the T-pose in the actual game so I'm going to go to my female character and change this name of this animation to T-pose. Okay, it's not going to be used, we're going to use another animation for the idol. Okay, so that's what I want to do there. I'm going to change the name as well. Changing the name to uh, female humanoid robot. Okay, so the easiest thing to do would be to duplicate this unit and then create another prefab, which is what I'm going to do. So we store all of our prefabs in the resources folder. This makes it possible to load them into the game and referring to them with a the script and things which we've done in the past. So let's go to create prefab. I'm going to call this female female humanoid robot. Okay, so I'm going to grab the robot in our scene, the unit, duplicate it, bring it out, and I'm going to call this of the same name, female humanoid robot. So there's a few things we need to change here. I'm going to zoom up uh, zoom up on this. Scarp a little bit. Um, the first thing is the robot itself. We don't need this, so I'm going to get the robot. Um, all it has is its animations, so not important. I'm going to delete this, I'm sure. And I'm going to grab this female robot and drag it in the female humanoid. Boom. I'm going to zero out the axes in the position. The robot's way too big. Let's just um, scale it down like so. I want it to be a bit bigger than our tin robot to show it's more powerful but not too much bigger. And in order to face forward we need to rotate our robot 180 degrees. So this is the forward uh, rotation. Cool, so this is all we need to do. I'm going to remove this script, the walking robot script, remove component. And yeah, the default animation is now going to be the T pose, so drag it, dragging it in there. And the walking animation, I don't know what that's missing, but never mind. Okay, so moving up now, um, the drag select, the, the, the game object we need to um, select when we're dragging, I'm going to move it to the middle. Okay, might want to go in the top view to change this. That's fine. Okay, and another thing is the selected graphic. So again, move it up and down, just tweak it out. I'm going to make it a bit bigger than the robot, this one. Okay, and I'm going to make sure this is on the ground. Okay, that's fine. Moving up to the actual object, everything is stored under. We have our character controller. I'm just going to change this. I'm going to bring the uh, capsule collider up and also making it a bit bigger actually that fits it quite well and the height needs to come up as well so just dragging the height up tweaking the position could go in a kind of a side view kind of hard to see of the background okay that's fine okay bring the background back um, and uh, this is mostly what we need to do. We've got a few more things we can tweak, such as the selected audio sound. Um, I've got another sound here. We have my sound folders. It's a female voice saying OK. So it's a 2D sound, so untick fr uh, 3D, so we can hear it from anywhere in the scene. Um, and with, grab with this robot again, I'm just going to drag the sound effect onto it, like so. OK, so I want it to be the same speed as the robot's for now. Um, before I tweak anything else I'm going to drag this onto the prefab. Okay, and now we can create as many as we like. Right, so the next thing to do would be to test this. Just going to select this one, bring it out of the ground. Okay, so we have two robots here. We can select them and they're moving, which is good but we have no animations yet. So the thing I'd like to do now is set up a idle pose, an idle animation. So I'm going to save out Unity and go back into Maya. So I'd like to start off 
in frame one and copy the t-pose so to speed things up I'm, I want to go back into the t-pose on the on frame 39 which is where we're going to start our walking uh, our idle animation so on frame one I'm going to select all four um, IK handles then right click here go on copy on frame 39 we can just paste so let's just grab these foot joints and rotate up just to bring it into the normal position you can do this in a side view okay so keyframe keyframe cool so this is our walking this is our idle okay so the idle animation starts at frame 39 and I might want to end it at frame I'm just going to guess here I'm just going to put 100 and go and save and I'm going to start my timeline at frame 39 so 39 and the default position is going to be with the hands maybe at the side if we can rotate this around okay so bringing the hand inwards down so the robot's kind of grabbing her midsection I'm going to do the same here bringing it rotating it around bringing it down cool okay that's, that's good I'm just going to grab this IK handle bring it in a tad more it's now it's going into the body so just be careful of that okay this will be fine gonna keyframe this keyframe the other arm like so so this is already a pretty good idle position the robot looks quite bored um, and all I want to do is just move it a tiny bit so maybe in frame um, so we start at frame 39 maybe at frame 59 we can grab the head so we remember to key in the default position 59 I'm going to rotate the head, the robot's looking around there's nothing to do maybe 72 boom and 82 it's going to go a tiny bit around key and at frame 100 the robot's going to go back to the original pose let's see what it looks like okay that's good so we might want to leave a pause between now and repeating the animation so I'm going to change this to maybe 130 save cool okay so it just goes to the end like so okay so what else could we do here um, we could bring the foot out a tiny bit so in frame 39, key it if we haven't already. Um, we might want to move the default position out a little bit. Okay, so key, it's frame 64 maybe. Key this straight away. I'm going to grab the joints of the foot, and bring it down. Bring it down firstly, then around. So the robot's kind of moving the foot around key let's see what this looks like okay frame 80 so on frame 64 uh, say 80 for example let's get the IK handle okay key 90 let's come out key rotating key it see what we have so far okay so just so we know where we're going with this I'm going to copy frame 39 and paste it in 100 and maybe 130 the last one pasting so the robot's moving the leg 
at this point we might want to pause it so copying going to frame 108 for example paste okay this is what we have now cool okay okay the next thing I'd like to do is just move the arm a little bit in this on the right hand side so keyframe so I'm going to grab the IK handle on frame about a third of the way through let's say I'm going to bring the arm out okay key it 78 key I want the robot to just rest in this position for a while okay so maybe 114 110 I'm going to key it again and on 130 the robot goes back like so let's see what this looks like okay I think the robot takes a bit too long to move the, her hand down so let's just grab frame 68 gonna click and hold the shift key gonna cut these ones let's bring them down to 56 paste see what it looks like cool that's good so again I think there should be one more pause to make it look a bit more natural let's increase the animation again to 180 trying to be as conservative as we can okay so the robot doesn't move at all until the beginning of the animation okay so the robot kind of moves her arm and her legs at the same time like so. So I'm just going to grab these frames, cut them, bring them up a little bit, paste. Okay, I think this will do for her idle. So let's export it back into Unity. Making sure we're exporting the animation and it's baked. Okay, export. Yes, I do. I want to replace this. Okay, going back to Unity, as you can see, nothing's changed. We've just added the animation. So we can set this up here. I'm going to add the idle animation. It's going to go from frame 39 to 180. And like the walking one, I'm just going to loop it. Okay, apply. So now we, when we can go to our um, prefab, I'm going to select the one in the project actually. The let's go to the female robot and I'm going to change the animation here to idle okay so idle is here I'm going to drag it on okay like so play automatically and now we can play the game okay so the so the robots are very idle now they're just waiting around like so so this is all the idle is just a tiny animation when the robots doing nothing Cool, so in the next video I'd like to set up a controller for the animations because when we walk at the moment the robot does not change the animation which is a bit weird so we'll do that in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video.